So my name is Kelly Andrew Bowman Tomlinson, and my major is exercise science. Um, I might regret that later. <laughs> um, and I am from Shelby Township, Michigan. Um, so I am blind, and I was born blind. Um, I use a cane to walk around, um, and I am hoping to get a uh, guide dog in the near future. Um, in fact, I just got a call from the guide dog school that said that they would come out and do um, a home interview. I chose Slippy Rock for several reasons. Number one, um, they had a PT program and I chose to go into this field um, in 2014. I also chose it because I heard that a Slippy Rock had a really good um, Office of Disability service, which they do. Um, and there's also a goalball team, which is a sport for the visually impaired on campus. And that is like a rare find. Um, we don't, there are not a lot of schools um, in the United States that have um, goalball as one of their uh, sports. So those are the reasons. Um, so my disability motivates me because it gives me the hunger to prove to people that blindness is not a big um, problem or a big uh, obstacle um, and that I can still do all the things that everyone else can do uh, just with a bit of uh, modification. Um, and it also is a challenge at times because I have to um, collaborate with my professors and the disability service uh, to get the material format, uh, the materials in formats that will work for me. A lot of people think that blindness is a plague, which it's not. Um, it just is something that some people deal with and um, it, it won't hurt you to come talk to us. Um, and all you have to do uh, is to come and introduce yourself and talk to us like a normal uh, human being. We are not deaf as well as blind, we're just, we're just blind, so you can talk us, to us in a normal tone of voice. It gets a little intimidating to go talk to somebody who may be different, um, but it'd be really awesome um, to, to come and, and just open yourself up to us. They give me my materials in formats that I can read. They have provided me with um, books in formats that I can also read. Um, one of the formats is being Braille, so they actually got um, they got a Braille embosser, which is like a printer, but it's just print Braille instead of print. Um, and that's how I they get my stuff into Braille. Um, they also have given me uh, assistance in um, my courses like physics and anatomy. So I have um, other people to be in there and, and help me um, if I ever need help. They have done so many things, I, I can't even <laughs> list all of them. I just feel like um, I mean, blind people, you may think we're lucky because we get extra time on tests, but you know, we really aren't because a test that may take you two hours can take us four to six, which means it's gonna be longer and it's gonna take longer and by the end of it, blind people get burned out. Um, and I mean, being blind is challenging, but again, it's, re it, it can be, re um, it has its rewards and you get to teach other people about your blindness.